It's time to check in with Rob and his experiment. I'm told he's been hanging out in the bathroom far too long now. What's that all about? <laughs> Not again! Dave's gonna be pissed! Uh, when was the last time you dropped your cell phone in the toilet? Or maybe just a puddle? Well, don't worry, the gods aren't against you. It happens to more people than you may think. Ah, uh, crap! So, what do you do to save your cell phone, especially in this economy? The Into Tomorrow team has come across several methods. In one case, we ran across an article from the Wall Street Journal that talks about baking your phone in the oven. So we thought we'd try it out for you to see if it works. First thing, no matter what though, take the battery out. Make sure all electrical power to the phone is removed. Then wrap the device in a dry washcloth and aluminum foil. Finally, stick it in the oven for at least five hours at a low temperature. We're baking it at about 125 degrees. Then sit and wait. Oh, but keep an eye on it. Other methods call for you to use a hair dryer to dry the phone, but that may be counteracting your efforts to save the phone. Think about it. It can blow water into crevices that it hadn't reached yet, so you may be causing yourself more problems. Another option is to towel dry the phone after removing the battery and then putting it in a closed container filled with uncooked rice for one to two days. The rice helps absorb moisture. You can also use products like Damp Rid. Well, it's been about five hours now. Let's check in with Rob. Did it work? I think we lucked out with this one and I'm glad because I don't have to go out and buy a cell phone for somebody. The oven managed to rescue the phone. Just in case, we had rice sitting in a container where you can put the phone for one to two days. But we didn't have to do that. Have you ever dropped your cell phone in the toilet or in a puddle of water? How did you deal with it? Did it work? Share your stories with us. Send us an email to askdave at graveline.com and share your story with us. I'm anxious to hear them from you. Dave, we'll bring it over to you now. Very cool, Rob. I'm also looking forward to seeing what our listeners and viewers have done in the past and what worked for them. We hope you'll remember some of this advice too when it happens to you again.